Hello, my name is Maria Cristina Costelli and I'm going to give you a brief overview of our study. This is the first qualitative study that is underpinned by social cognitive theory and is focusing on the reasons that prevent and encourage physical activity engagement in individuals with a full range of COPD severity in a primary care setting. While previous research has focused on the reasons for poor adherence in pulmonary rehabilitation, our study focused on participation in physical activity at home as part of daily life. Physical activity is well accepted as a behavior associated with a variety of health benefits. However, despite the reported benefits of physical activity, the vast majority of individuals with COPD are significantly less active on a daily basis than healthy older adults. As COPD becomes more severe, physical activity levels decline further. Consequently, inactivity can in turn lead to further deterioration of physical health, which is a further barrier to physical activity engagement. The participants were drawn from the Birmingham COPD cohort study and participated in distinct focus groups to account for the influence of contextual factors such as previous experience with exercise and employment status. The results are in accordance with social cognitive theory and emphasize the importance of self-efficacy in achieving health behavior change. The majority of the barriers were internally perceived and were related to the nature of their disease. Except for the physical limitations, the psychological and emotional impact of COPD was apparent. Furthermore, individuals with COPD seem to undermine the importance of physical activity as a way of improving their condition and reported low outcome expectations because of feeling helpless and not in control. On the other hand, Positive attitudes to COPD and positive outcome expectations for physical activity appear important determinants of physical activity. At the same time, enjoyment of physical activity in combination with achieving personally meaningful goals and experiencing a sense of accomplishment facilitated physical activity engagement. Future interventions should be carefully designed to account for the context-specific barriers and should aim to improve self-efficacy beliefs, cultivate positive outcome expectations regarding physical activity and develop meaningful self-regulatory strategies for individuals with COPD. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening.